Can a mountain range be part of a fish? In the first part of New Zealand Landscape as Culture, we discussed what it means to live on an island in the sea of islands. We told the origin story of Aotearoa New Zealand, how the demigod Maui fished up the North Island, an act which gives us its Māori name to Ika Maui, the fish of Maui. The second part of New Zealand Landscape as Culture is about mountains, or maunga in the indigenous Māori language of this country. We look again at that fish, focusing on its mountainous backbone. Both the North and the South Islands of Aotearoa New Zealand are bisected by mountain ranges, like the spine of a fish. In this course, we think about maunga or mountains and what they mean in the cultural, emotional and social life of our country. The other big story about our maunga or mountains is a geological story related to our situation on the Pacific Ring of Fire. The Pacific Ring of Fire has more exploding volcanoes and great earthquakes than any other place on Earth. Aotearoa New Zealand has hot and cold mountains. In the North Island there is a large geothermal field with a long history of volatility. The central part of the North Island was formed by eruptions. We're going to show you volcanoes as well as snow-covered peaks. We'll talk about the Southern Alps and visit the geothermal area around Rotorua, which is where I come from. Mountains are a key part of New Zealand identity, but culturally they mean very different things to Māori and to non-Māori. What do we know about our mountains? We're looking forward to talking about them and showing you our hot and cold, our bicultural mountain world.